10 billion naira of public funds transferred to personal accounts in 2022. Oh boy, that is 2022, not 2023. So why didn't this record or this information come out in the whole of that 22, 2023, and now it's coming out in 2024 just because the humanitarian ministry is being exposed? Why is this information coming now? And now that it's coming now, well, not too late to be investigated, but who is going to investigate it as well? Let's dive into the details to understand how this 10 billion was moved into a private or personal account in 2022. In 2022, 10 billion naira of public funds found its way into a private account as revealed by data obtained by Business D. Okay, this significant sum was disbursed among 18 beneficiaries through a total of 165 transactions. Among the recipients, uh, a Bikaboe Victor Ben stood out by receiving one of the largest amount totaling 2.2 billion uh, naira spread across 27 transactions. So the funds approved by the internal auditor in the September 2022 were designated for stipend payment in 1,214 ex-agitators in Boilov camp. Oh boy. So another substantial um, uh, recipient, uh, Dasi Amaka Adokie Sami, obtained 2.2 billion naira through 12 transactions for stipend payment to ex-agitators in the Tom Ateke camp. Hmm. So on the lower end of the scale, uh, Lagbada, Christiana Omoladi received the least amount of 118.17 million naira distributed over 18 transactions. So the revelation of this data gained prominence following the suspension of Beta Edu from her position as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. President Tunubu took this action after a leaked memo surfaced exposing Edu's directive to transfer 585 million naira to a private account. This revelation sparked widespread concerns and raised questions about potential financial improprieties within the ministry. So Nigerian law unequivocally prohibits transferring public funds to a private uh, account. So, as articulated in the Federal Government's Financial Regulation Chapter 7, page 713, personal monies are strictly forbidden from entering government bank account and public money should never be deposited into private bank accounts as well. So, any officer involved in such transaction is deemed to have acted with fraudulent intention according to the stipulation of the law. <laughs> so, the question now Okay, so the question now is that the people that were settled in the Niger Delta area in 2022, the monies went through private account. And one of them was uh, Victor Ebikabowe Ben, received 2.2 billion. Okay, another person again is Dasiamaka Adokie Sami. Okay, that one received 2.2 billion as well. And it was private account to disburse to people. Okay, and on the lower scale, Alagbada Christiana Omoladi received 118.717 million. So it means that transferring money or disbursing money to recipients through private account has started long ago. So why is Beta Edu case different now? Okay. So and why were all these things not reviewed earlier? Or were they reviewed but they didn't take any action on them? We need to understand. And all these funds who monitor through to see that the funds were disbursed as planned. Now, there's a law that has been quoted here that personal money should not go into a government account for any reason. And no government money or public money should go into a private account as well for any reason. Okay? There should be other government channels and tools that can be used to disburse this money to the beneficiaries or rather to the recipients. Okay? So now that this has been reviewed, are we going to call Victor Bikaboe? And uh, and uh, what is his name? Uh, Dasyamaka Adokie and Sami to come and explain how the money got into their own account and how they disbursed the money. Did the money get to the recipient as planned? Those are the questions that should be asked now. So it means that this law 
that uh, better edu violated a lot of people have been violating it before now and just like uh, the jade andrew is saying that he has written to the efcc sorry yeah to the efcc because his investigation shows that almost all the ministers on that Tinubu have moved funds into private account at one time or the other and i'm sure this did not start with Tinubu's government this is probably what has been happening all along and nobody's looking at it it means that the ministries and public services have been violating a lot of laws but nobody's investigating nobody's asking and so they keep getting away with it and you know when you do a wrong thing for a long while it will become the right thing and that is exactly what it is appearing to look like here in this matter so now that it has been revealed is now government going to investigate those people as well if we go down to investigate corruption from the root in Nigeria, Nigeria will collapse, I tell you the truth, because both the past public officers and the present public officers will have committed one thing or the other. Okay? And so the only thing is to zero Nigeria, zero the clock, and start all over again, and find a way to reduce the amount of money in the hand of public office holders that have stolen them, recover the much you can recover, and then start all over again. That like press reset button for Nigeria. Nigeria need a reset button. That is what I say here. And there are there are comments here. Somebody said Buhari killed and destroyed Nigeria. Very corrupt man. Okay, oh, that is what you know. Uh, did all these dis distributions reach the internet target, or just to use corruption to defend another corruption? Exactly. So if this is the practice, is it really achieving the intended result? That is the question. Nobody is going to tell us that. I tell you, we need someone to tell us that. So say we are really not serious in curtailing fraud in Nigeria. We are encouraging it. <laughs> How are we encouraging it? Yeah, because all of these things have been happening before now, and nobody has mentioned it. Nothing has happened. There are permanent secretaries in those ministries that have also supported the movement of these funds, and nothing has been said. So why did... That is the big question. Why did the permanent secretary and his people in Betaedu's ministry leak this transfer? Is it that Betaedu did not want to cooperate with them? Because from historical account, this is not the first time this is happening in Nigerian system. It has been happening. But it's with connivance, uh, in connivance with the with the permanent secretary, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So it is obvious that uh, this has been happening a long time but nobody has been touchlighting it nobody has been looking at it but now that it has been exposed you know using beta edu as a case study as a as a specimen <laughs> and uh, how are we going to manage the situation going forward to stop uh civil servants and the uh, ministers from moving funds into private accounts eh? oh, wow so thank you for listening and I said your comment. This has been happening, but nobody has detected it or nobody has been serious about it to dig deeper. Let's have your comment for sharing as well.